guess what day it is today? It is Dutch test day. This test hopefully being able to give me some answers as to, you know, what's going on with my hormones. I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of questions like, what is a Dutch test? A Dutch test is actually a urine test that tests for your hormones. So hormones like estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, cortisol. And it measures these through your urine, and but it also measures the metabolites of these hormones as well. There is a specific time that you would perform a Dutch test, that time being in your luteal phase of your menstrual cycle. And why it's important to get it during this phase is because this is when your progesterone should be the highest. And it's also a good time to look at, you know, the estrogen in the body. There are a lot of estrogen compared to progesterone my personal cycle length runs around 27 days right now and given that cycle length day 20 to 22 are the ideal days to do this test given that this is when you're supposed to see a true representation of progesterone now this may look different for other people so my cycle length is just kind of a reference side note when I was booking the test to go pick up I had realized that I have been counting my cycle wrong and of course this happens because you know we're really not even taught to know how to calculate our cycle just in case anybody wants to know how to calculate their cycle you take day one will be the first day of your menstrual cycle and then you count it all the way to the next first day of your next menstrual cycle and that'll give you your cycle length I almost messed up this whole process so yeah that is how you calculate your cycle length and it is really important to know that if you're dealing with these kind of issues and you do seek a professional to kind of have that information my symptoms that i experience are generally in the luteal phase acne bloating and digestive issues breast tenderness periods of depression sometimes or you know just like emotional distress irritability i'm gonna knock on wood right now because honestly right now i'm feeling pretty good i did have a mental breakdown a couple days ago that was pretty rough but other than that like i feel like my skin isn't too bad so i'm gonna find some wood i really hope that maybe these small changes that i'm making are even making a difference so the dutch test again like i said is a urine test you're doing five different urine samples i'm gonna be taking it today so the first one being like a dinner time the second one being before bed. Third one being in the middle of the night, like you wake up in the middle of the night and you take one as well. Fourth one is immediately when you wake up. So tomorrow, immediately when I wake up, I'm gonna take one. And then two hours after you initially wake up is gonna be your fifth urine sample that you take. Really the idea of this is to give you the best description of basically all the time points throughout your day for these hormones. There are some restrictions. Uh, you're not supposed to drink any caffeine or alcohol during the whole process of the Dutch test. You are able to drink fluids, but they recommend you kind of restrict your fluids to 40 ounces a day. So for today and for tomorrow, Honestly, I'm feeling pretty dehydrated today because I've been really good with drinking a lot of water lately. So I honestly kind of feel like crap. <laughs> they don't want you to drink any fluids two hours before each kind of like time point for this test as well. There are a few food restrictions as well, which I didn't read until today. So I kind of messed one of them up. 48 hours prior and during not to eat these foods. So one of them being avocados, which, perfect. I'm really glad that I had tuna guac last night. <laughs> I am going to write that in the notes when I do send this out, and hopefully it doesn't affect anything. Another one is bananas. Haven't had any bananas. That's good. And now I'm going to show you the actual test. This is what it came in. This is the golden ticket, hopefully. I know you can buy these online and actually do this yourself, too. The only thing with that is you get the results, and I 
personally need a professional to explain everything to me because I am not super educated on this stuff. I'm only starting to get to know things. They get shipped to the States and then they send it to your practitioner or they send it to you, like your results. Which is probably why this, this test is so expensive. So Canada, get, get yourself a lab that can analyze a Dutch test. Like, why not? It comes in this little pamphlet. So, I actually haven't looked at this yet, so this is the first time for both of us. Interesting. The time, so it has like dinner time, 5 p.m. It says no alcohol, caffeine, or large fluid take after lunch. So it gives you those recommendations right on here. Collect your urine on the... Okay. So then, on the same thing, so this piece of paper here... This part here, this is like a filter paper. This is where you collect your urine. So obviously in this video, I'm not about to collect my urine in front of you guys. I'm just going over like what I will do. What the girl at the front desk recommended that I do is you can either like pee right on this or you can pee in a cup and then just kind of like put it in the cup of your pee has of course all five of them in here after you urinate on these you are just gonna leave it out to dry and then just to put it in the back in the bag and then you just you ship it out you ship it to the US I know I mentioned it in my first video uh, the pricing for the Dutch test but I'm gonna say it again the Dutch test was estimated around $900 and it's not just this test. I'm gonna have to go and have another consultation. My initial consultation was $375 plus $950. I'm not a math girl. So I've already spent $1,325 on my health within the past like three weeks. This isn't a decision I made lightly. I have been going through this for four years now and I have yet to find an answer if investing in my health and putting in money towards someone who is actually trained to help me with things like this is what it's gonna take then that's what I'm gonna do because I cannot do this anymore I refuse I want to feel healthy and I want to feel connected to my body I've always been active and I've always you know ate good food and in my opinion I've always been healthy but there's clearly something that I'm not doing that my body needs and I'm gonna figure that out a lot of people also ask me you know why don't you just get a blood test they're generally free in Canada unless you're getting like your thyroid hormones or like specific ones but they're definitely not $950 the reason why I'm not getting a blood test is because get the blood test once so it's showing one static point in time and it's not really giving you the whole picture I don't think the blood test also gives you the metabolites of the hormones so that could also be really important for me I don't really want to waste any more time on this I want to know I want to know what's what's going on what's up with those hormones what time is it right now it's currently 4 30 p.m. in Calgary so I'm gonna be taking my test probably 5.30ish. It does say five o'clock, but I just kinda ate lunch a couple hours ago, so I want it to be as realistic as possible. I'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow and kind of explain how the process went, did I run into any difficulties, anything like that. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. just finished my last sample of the Dutch test remember when I said I was feeling crappy yesterday I honestly kind of feel like crap <laughs> turns out I'm sick I woke up like my head is so congested I have such a stuffy nose and I had like the worst sleep ever I'm a little bit nervous as to if this is gonna affect anything so I'm gonna give the clinic a call and just make sure with them I guess I've never really showed like the severity of my skin on here so that's kind of like just scarring but that's from the past few months of 
dealing with all these PMS symptoms, including acne. This is me being extremely vulnerable because first time I looked at myself in this camera, I was like, there's absolutely no way that I can show my skin, but this is a part of the journey and I want to be as honest and real as possible. So there we go. This is what we're working with. I just had a question. I don't know if you can help me with this about the Dutch test. Um, I started the Dutch test last night and I finished it this morning, but I also woke up with a bad head cold. I just kind of wanted to ask you if that will affect the results or anything like that. There shouldn't be any effect for that. You too. Bye. Yay! She said it shouldn't have an effect, but she did make note that I woke up with a head cold for my natural path, but she said everything should be okay, so we are in the clear. I mean, that's really the only difficulty that I did experience during this. Like, the whole process went great, like, it's very straightforward. I'm gonna go and drop off the samples probably later tonight just to make sure they're completely dry. She mentioned that they usually only take about two weeks to like get there, get processed, and then her get the results. So yeah, in about two weeks, I'll be making a part three and we're gonna talk about my results and what I'm gonna do moving forward. I hope that this video was able to give you guys a better understanding of what the Dutch test really is and you know maybe the process of it as well if you are looking to get a test like that and to be able to look at your hormones individually if you're going through similar issues as me please give this video a thumbs up I would love to hear your feedback in the comments as always and if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel for more of this hormone journey but also just other content as well I'm wanting to do some more vlogs soon just because I think those are pretty fun and even integrating like once I have those lifestyle changes from the results like kind of like a day in the life on each phase of my cycle i think that would be pretty cool i hope you have a great weekend and i hope you are not stuck sick like i am right now i'll see you guys next time on figuring out my hormones episode three